Oh, you said your grandma is like looking forward to watch you yes. on YouTube, yes. right? Yes, yes. Do you want to say hi to your grandma? Hi, grandma. Shout out. Hi, I'm Rie. Today, I've been challenged to take a popular food and make, make it, it fancy. fancy. You did it. <laughs> Today, I have a special guest. She is a big Make It Fancy fan, Sierra! Hi, Rie. Thank you for having me. Yes, thank you for coming. She flew from Atlanta. It's across the country. It's a big deal. <laughs> Sierra, what am I making fancy today? Today, you're making fancy a Starbucks lemon loaf. I love lemon pound cake. It's like a good little treat, and I love lemon flavored things. I also feel like this is already fancy. That's what I thought too. <laughs> it's a little fancy, it's a little bougie. Yeah. Smells so good. It's so good. I like this. It's not too sweet. Mm -hmm. The texture is very soft and mm -hmm. moist. I think it would be really unexpected and really cool if you made something savory out of this. Challenge accepted. But you have to help me. That sounds good. Co-pilot. Challenge accepted. All right. <laughs> Make, Make it, it fancy. fancy. All right. Here's what I got. Ricotta cheese. Parsley. Pea shoots. Basil. Dragon fruit powder. Celery. Heavy cream. Butter. Edible flowers. Parmesan cheese. Yellow onion. Chives. Thyme. Carrots. Eggs. Lobster tails. And black truffle. From the pantry, I got semolina flour. Lemons. Double zero flour. Bay leaves. Garlic. And shallots. All right, let's get started. Make it, it fancy. fancy! So the first step, we're gonna do a surgery. We are going to remove icing from the pound cake. You know, it's a very serious surgery. It's very serious. Did you ever play Operation? No, why is that? It's a game and there's this little guy and he has these like random objects in his body and you have to remove them with like tweezers. Uh -huh. But if the tweezers touch anything but the little object, he gets like electrocuted. It sounds horrifying. It's a kid's game, so it's fine. <laughs> it's a kid's game? Our surgery is almost done. You're gonna just put this in a bowl, like just break it. We're gonna use it for later. And I'm going to dehydrate this pound cake until crispy. Do you have any guess so far what I'm, I'm making? No, but I feel like we're having a little breadcrumb curtain moment with this. Hmm, we will see. We will. Yeah, we are cooking together, but Sierra has no idea. <laughs> Nope. I'm going to put this in a dehydrator and we are moving on to next step. All right, so it has been dehydrated. That's Can so you tell? No, it looks the same. Three, two, one, crush. <laughs> <laughs> or not. It's crunchy though. Crunchy, do you want to try it? Mmm. That is really good. It's tasty. Reminds me of like the Lemon Girl Scout cookies. Mmm, yeah. I'm gonna put this in a spice grinder. Have you used spice grinder before? I have not. So you're gonna just hold the top, hold the top. and push press the black button. And now I'm going to sift. All right, now we have lemony pound cake powder. And let's go next step. We have lobsters. I would not think about a lemon pound cake and lobsters together. <laughs> So now we're gonna cook lobster, and lobster cooks kind of quickly. Indicator is it turns bright red. So it takes about four to five minutes. You don't want to overcook it. It's become like very lubbery. Let me give you a lobster fact. The largest lobster ever caught weighed 44 pounds. Wow. I, Did I eat it? That's scary. It was three and a half feet. No. no. Wow. No. I'm like, mm, that sounds delicious. <laughs> okay, so it's bright uh -huh. red and we're gonna choke with ice water so it will stop cooking. All right, so we have instant pot and we have some aromatic. We have onion, celery, carrot, and I'm going to saute. Do you have any idea what I'm doing? I have a sense that we're gonna make a lobster stock. Mmm, it's a good guess. And I'm gonna saute. Have you used Instant Pot before? I'm not. It's like really great tool, kind of shortcut the time. 
And we're gonna saute until milpoa is soft. I think this is great. All the vegetables are soft. And I'm going to use salt, mm -hmm. kind of helps cooking mm -hmm. process faster because it draws moisture. And now, this is the lobster shell. Okay. We roast it in the oven and it's very, has a strong smell. Yes. It's like concentrated lobster, but it's going to in a stock. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got it right. <laughs> All right, so now, Sierra, the pound cake? Yes, I'm intrigued. This feels <laughs> strange. So the pound cake kind of helps thicken the stock. All the herb stem has very, very good flavor. Especially it's good for making stocks. That Parmesan. is the Parmesan. Good job. I'm gonna add water, bay leaf, black pepper. It looks like we just throwing everything <laughs> in the pot and like hope for the best, but mm -hmm. trust me, this is gonna be very tasty. We are going to pressure cook this about 45 minutes. All right, so we have double zero flour and semolina flour and dehydrated Starbucks lemon pound cake flour. Can you put all the flour into this bowl? Yes. Nice. And then last but not least, the lemon pound cake powder. And I have whole eggs, olive oil, mm -hmm. dragon fruit powder. I chose it because your favorite color is pink. Yes. This makes it super pretty. Oh, that's exciting. ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm going to make a well. So I'm going to pour. It looks like a volcano. Can you put egg yolk? Nice. It's kind of pretty. And I'm going to mix. Try not to break the well yet. And slowly incorporate flour. Ooh, think you don't want to happen. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Do you want to try? Okay, so just like... Yeah. Can you guess what we are making right now? Pasta? Yes. Have you made pasta from scratch? No. It's flavor intensive, mm -hmm. but it is fun to make. Yes. Do you want to try? That's great. Ria, does the dragon fruit powder in the pasta change the way it tastes? It doesn't. We only use like a little bit, like not mm -hmm. too much amount. And the dragon fruit powder is like very mild. I think we are almost there. All right, so we have to rest the dough. When we work with dough, it mm -hmm. becomes very, very tough. So we have to relax the gluten. And then we have more things to do. Okay. <laughs> so I have ricotta, parmesan cheese, lemon zest, and the our old friend. So I'm gonna put everything in a food processor. Parmesan cheese, lemon zest, salt, and icing. I'm gonna brand. I'm going to put everything in the bowl. Do you cook a lot at home? Sometimes. I probably bake more than I cook. What is your favorite thing to bake? The craziest cake I ever made. I was in an edible cookie dough phase. A chocolate cake, a layer of edible cookie dough, mm -hmm. and then a layer of chocolate cake. <laughs> And a layer of edible cookie dough, uh -huh. and then a layer of chocolate cake, chocolate frosting, and then like cookie crumbs, and it was a lot. Okay. <laughs> but it was a lot. So we have ricotta cheese mix right mm -hmm. here. Can you add the herbs? Yes. Nice. We didn't put it in the food processor because sometimes fresh herbs get bruised in oh, a... interesting. There's a pasta piece, yes. there's a lobster piece, mm -hmm. there's a stock piece, and now there's a ricotta piece. You've lost me. <laughs> Looks good. This is only the beginning. Okay. <laughs> so this is the pasta dough we rested, and I'm going to cut in a quarter. Very nice. We are going to start with number one. I'm going to go up until seven. So can you start catching my door? I want to make it perfect rectangle. So I'm going to fold it. And I'm going to put it here. The last one, we are at number seven. Super thin, but delicate. Mm -hmm. We did okay. it. That's like beautiful. Yeah, I love the color. It's gonna look so good. All right, so this is the pasta we rolled out. We gonna cut out in a cookie cutter. All my strength into it. Mm -hmm. Perfect. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. This is the last one. Oh my gosh. Oh no. <laughs> That didn't happen. Nobody see it. Ooh, wait a second. <laughs> that was very satisfying. Let's get fancy. Fancy time. <laughs> All right, so we have filling and I'm gonna pipe. I don't want to overfill, so maybe this much. 
when you are piping, don't squeeze from here, mm -hmm. squeeze from top. Okay. This is just a support. Okay, okay. and squeeze from the top. Mm -hmm. And you kind of want to do straight. Yep, that's good. We are going to close. So okay. you are going to use water. So just wet mm -hmm. around the edge. And then you are going to push and hold. Just close. So I paint the edges mm -hmm. and then I push push the, in the middle. middle like make the corners touch mm -hmm. yeah. yeah 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 cute yeah i think that i thought the lobster was going to be in the ravioli my mind is still thinking and let's cook them off but actually i don't know the name of this pasta because it's a special shape do you want to guess you know it's going to sound italian this is make it fancy we couldn't just do tortellini but the fancy version uh-huh this is actually capoletti it did it did sound italian though yeah. Oh, you said your grandma is like looking forward to watch you yes. on YouTube, yes. right? Yes. Yes. You want to say hi to your grandma? Hi, grandma. Shout out. We cook all the cup. Capelletti. Capelletti. <laughs> when you are cooking at home, if you have to cook the pasta ahead, you can drizzle some olive oil so it doesn't stick together. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's very convenient. Mm -hmm. Tasty hack. We still have lobster to cook. So can you add olive oil? Just like a swirl. Mm. Can you add shallots? So we're gonna saute shallots first. Okay. Because garlic tends to brown too quickly. I like cooking with shallots mm -hmm. because shallots are fancy. I I think it's less sharp than onion. All right, so it's nice and soft. Can you add garlic and saute until fragrant? And it starts smelling like really nice. Yes. Now you want to add lobster stock. This is the stock we cooked in a pressure cooker and we strain it. And we are going to bring it to a boil. What did the Parmesan cheese in the stock do? Cheese rind, it usually gets thrown away, but okay. it gives umami. It gives like nice, savory, deep flavor okay. to the stock. Learn something new today. Yeah, good question. So it looks good and I'm going to strain. I just want to have an essence of mm -hmm. all the flavor. This is a strained. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. back into the pot and we're gonna put cream and lemon zest just kind of give a nice sharpness gotta reinforce the lemon bound cake yeah exactly and parmesan cheese and then we're gonna put butter and once the butter is melted and the sauce is nice and creamy you are going to put the lobster lobster is already cooked so we are just kind of warming up yeah. it's like very elegant it really is it's fancy it's fancy. fancy. <laughs> we reduced sauce a little bit, so it's very nice and thick. And we're gonna start plating. Lemon zest, pea shoot. And now I'm gonna shave truffle. Do you wanna add edible flour? And we are done. done. Starbucks lemon loaf capelletti with lobster. Super fancy. It looks fancy, and I think it's really unexpected. Yes, that's what I wanted to hear. We gotta do a taste test. We usually have a guest to taste our creation. Since you helped me today, is there anybody you wanna surprise? I would love to surprise my cousin Shelly. Okay, Shelly! All right! Hi, funny seeing you here. Do you wanna open the cover? Yes, All I right. do. All right. Ta da! Oh my goodness, that looks so good. So, we made a Starbucks lemon loaf capoletti with lobster. It sounds very delicious. And yes. I'm excited to try it. Let's try. Okay. I'm super excited. I am too. Oh. That is delicious. Oh, it's so good. I like how it's really, really lemony and mm -hmm. bright. Mm -hmm. I like the plating, it's very artsy. Can you guess how did we incorporate? This is hard. I feel like I'm assuming part of the sauce, like it tastes lemony. I'm curious about what the actual pasta shell is made out of. So I feel like it might be a little bit in there too, especially because it was like bread. I think you nailed it, basically. Yeah. Maybe I should be a cook. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> did we make Starbucks lemon loaf fancy? Absolutely. With the truffle and everything, this is one of the fancier meals I've had. Yay! Yeah, um, we did it! We have one last thing to do. Three, two, one. Make, Make it fancy! fancy.